Is our local real estate market slowing? Today, I'm breaking down where we're headed during the rest of 2021. Hi, I'm Frank Polsonello, owner and broker of record at Remax Hallmark Polsonello Group. If you've been watching the real estate market at all this year, you know that it's produced a red hot seller's market, the likes of which we've never seen before. Homes have been selling for all time record high prices while only being on the market for a few days. But is that going to change soon? Having helped hundreds of local families either buy or sell a home so far this year, my team and I are extremely tuned into the market and here's what we see happening. The market will likely level off as we move into fall and winter. And to be clear, this doesn't mean that we'll be shifting from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Far from it, in fact. It just means we won't continue to see those record sales prices month after month after month. At some point, the market has to start leveling off and I believe we're right about at that tipping point now. But what does that mean in practical terms? Well, houses will take a bit longer to sell, inventory will slow and expand, though not by much, and bidding wars, they'll still be around, but they just won't be as frenzied as they have been, especially in the 1.5 million range and above. The data already shows that this is happening as we move into the second half of summer. A great way to gauge future market performance is by looking at recent past history and how many homes have been selling. And in the GTA, 11,951 homes sold during the month of May. In June, that number dropped to 11,106. And in July, it dropped again to just under 9,400 homes. Do you see the leveling off that's taking place here? Now, the sky's not falling for home sellers though. It's important to remember that interest rates are still extremely low. And even with a slight increase in inventory, there's still a local housing shortage. This means that home sellers can expect to be in a strong position throughout the end of the year, particularly those that have leveraged themselves with the most effective selling strategies and realtors. In July, we had the privilege of helping dozens of clients buy and sell homes. And we made sure that they maximize the opportunities that were presented by this market. Our clients Evelyn and Louis sold their beautiful country property on McCowan Road for $3.8 million. And I have to tell you that they were thrilled to get $200,000 over what they thought their home was worth. And by the way, we brought them our own buyer. John and April's beautiful home on Portaway Avenue sold at $1.75 million, also well above expectations. Our clients Paul and Tanya purchased their dream home on Brimson Drive in Newmarket for $1.55 million. And that was $50,000 below the asking price of $1599888. And lastly, our clients Rachel and Andrew sold their home on Kennedy Road for $1.275, and that was $125,000 over the asking price. To be frank, in a seller's market like this, homes are likely to sell for over the asking price. But there's a difference between selling your house for more than you expected and selling your home for the absolute maximum. This is a huge risk sellers face in our current market. And that is leaving money on the table because they didn't leverage the optimal pricing, marketing and negotiation strategies. We make sure that our clients take every advantage possible so their home sells for the highest price and they don't have to wonder if they ever left any money on the table. In addition to helping so many families sell their homes this year, we have helped just as many families purchase a home in this highly competitive market. Again, it comes down to the right strategies that are working in this unique market and true expertise. If you'd like to enjoy the best possible results in your upcoming home sale or purchase, I invite you to reach out to me, Frank Polsonello at polsonello.ca or call or text me at 905-830-9111. Thank you and I hope you have an incredible day.